I'm back, y'all. Good Friday afternoon. I'm getting ready to cook dinner on Friday. How about that? Had a taste for Have you just had a taste for something? Well, I do. I have a taste for some um, gravy. And I make turkey uh, meat patties with gravy and onions to go over rice. And I'm going to cook some uh, new kind of string beans that I've got. There are crunchy string, string beans. String beans. So, what I've done, I've already gone ahead and measured out my um, ingredients for the meat patties. So, what I've, what I've got in here is two and a half pounds of ground turkey. It's 85% lean ground turkey, so it's, it's really kind of, you know, stiff. So, we got to put a few things in there to um, loosen it up, but tighten it up and put it together at the same time. So, what I've got is my season that... that um, I put together the everything with the kitchen sink seasoning. I put some extra complete seasoning, a little bit of extra garlic, and the extra onion powder. And, of course, you know I've got this new seasoning that I just love the taste of it. It's a Japanese seasoning. I have no idea where someone sent it to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know where she purchased it from. Um... Oh, Boca Raton, Florida is where it came out of. It's Kitchen Crafted Indian Seasoning. It's called BLND Mumbai Masala. So it's a masala uh, Indian uh, seasoning. I put a little bit of sasson in there, half a teaspoon of sasson. Meatballs, I put everything. I put everything with the kitchen sink, and then I double back and put some more in there. Find some stuff in the dining room and put in there. So, anywho, I got all kinds of seasons. So, basically, you can season these meatballs based on the way you like to eat, what flavors you like in your meatballs. So, y'all, like I say, whether you all got these all these seasons or not, I have no clue. But if you do, they will all blend in. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that to make them good when you bite into them. Um, this is the same almost as that chicken bouillon season except it has a few veg a few more veggies in there this is excellent it has some salt content so just put a half a teaspoon of that in there and the complete season everything else uh i'm sorry half a tablespoon listen to me a teaspoon of complete seasoning a teaspoon of the vegeta uh seasoning uh Half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now, all the other stuff that I put in that I mix up, it's just extra, extra seasoning for extra, extra flavor, y'all. So, again, whatever you like to put in to season uh, your favorite meat is all right. I'm just going to give you the cooking technique here today. Also, because I need this um, meat to stick together and I don't need, I need it. I need it firm, but yet I want it juicy. You you follow on that? So what I did, I have to put some kind of like um, flour in there. So I chose, because there we go with the flavor again, I put some pepper gravy mix, which is mixed out of flour, and it has seasonings in it. So that's what I put chose to put in there for that purpose. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and mix all this meat together. I'm going to put one egg in it. The egg is going to help to put it together as well, to hold it together rather. So I'm just going to take, see how soft. Just mix it up and I'm going to make me some nice meat patties. And I'm going to fry them for about, it's going to probably take 15 minutes for them to get done. But, and you don't have to fry them all the way, all the way, but you need to get them fried enough so that they're firm, so they don't fall apart in the pan when you make the gravy because once i make the gravy the meatballs are going to go back into the gravy it's going to cook for about 30 minutes and we'll have us a nice big old pan of meatballs with gravy okay this is one of those uh meals i have not had it i've not prepared it lately i might not need that egg i don't know let's see Let me see. I want to make sure that it's nice and moist, like I say. I'm going to go ahead and put that egg. I can use that extra, the texture from the egg. You know, the, oh, wow. There it is. Praise Jesus. 
That was a piece of eggshell. There it is. Thank you, Lord. You're not going to let that eggshell get away from me. Thank you, Jesus. Look, I'm telling you, I have a hawk out when it comes to cooking, honey. I saw that little piece of shell try to dip off to the side um, in there. So that egg is going to make it. It'll make it looser, but at the same time, you'll see what it does when it cooks. It'll, it'll give it a, almost like a little yum, yum, yum spongy, chewy, or whatever. But at the same time, it will help me maintain what I want to in texture. May put a little bit more. And make sure you get that egg mixed up in there really, 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 really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Of course, I'm making a mess off to the side here, but that's okay. We'll be all right. Look, we'll survive that. Okay. Let me just reach up here. Let's see if I got more of that. Uh, did I already put it back or no? Let me get my paper towel here. What are you doing, Colin? You dropped your phone? Okay, gotcha. No, my box. The box? Okay. Her daddy brought her a, an iPhone. Okay, put a little bit more of that uh, pepper gravy mix in there. And it help us with that uh, stick to it -tiveness. Okay. Yep, I was uh, listening to the news, Shani and I were talking about the loot news. Um, last night and um I, I always tell the kids I say you know I li I give myself 30 45 minutes I haven't even listened to the news today 30 to 45 minutes usually is what I would do with the news because there are so many negative uh things going on to report so I don't just I just don't give it a lot of my time because it, it sometimes it, it, it upsets me because I cannot stand to hear about people being mistreated, mistreated, especially when it comes to kids. Now, I mean, that really gets to me and things like that because y'all know how I am about my children. So that reaches over to my heart a little bit deeper than it needs to as far as I'm concerned. So, some paper towels here and clean this little mess off. Okay, so what I want to start doing now is I'm going to start making me some meatballs to go over here in this oil. And I've got about a half, uh, yeah, about a, just, well, a fourth of a cup of uh, olive oil in that pan. I'm gonna just start, um, instead of trying to do like that, it'll be so easy to get these gloves. These gloves are driving me crazy. Can't y'all tell? Drive me crazy if I let them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disrobe from these gloves. Okay, come back and do my sanitized cleanup on that. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do, get me a good size spoon. Not a great big dipping spoon, but a, uh, let me see. Let me find the right spoon, y'all. Okay. Alrighty then, y'all. I'm just going to take this and get my pan in view. So what I'm just going to do is just start uh, scooping these meat patties. I like that size there. I want to get 12 out of here. That's 12 is my number. Yeah. So I like a nice, and, you know, pretty good size, but not too big. Um, yeah. 
I mean, if you want perfectly round, you can take the time to roll them out. If not, this is just like drop them in there. They'll be just fine. But they're going to cook into a certain size and shape anyway. And you know, uh, be careful with your seasoning too. When you're seasoning, um, yeah, I'll easily get 12 or maybe even more. 12, maybe 14. And I'm going to have to fry these in two batches, same like. So, I'll let this be my first batch. And I'll start my second batch here shortly. Okay? It's just so much simpler with the spoon. I don't know if you're a stickler for having them um, round. Like I say, you can just go ahead and roll them out. Or if you have a large ice cream scooper, you can make them round with that. Either way will work. Okay, so I got, what, seven in the pan now? No, eight. Probably get eight more. So, anywho, we're going to let those cook for about four or five minutes on each side, and then we'll come back and get the rest of them in. So, hold on. Don't go nowhere. Okay, these are on the first turn. Once they get brown on, the, on this side here, I'm going to go ahead and take them out because they're going back in the gravy to finish off any cooking that they haven't done. So they're browning up nicely, y'all. So we'll be right back. Okay, I got my gravy going. Got my last of my meatballs out. I'm going to start putting onions in. I slice up for a half of a, I'm going to have a large onion. One large onion is what I slice up. And I always like to get it going in there a little bit while I'm uh, browning my gravy. Get those onions down in there. Yum, yum, yummy, y'all. Okay. And we're going to let this just continue to, um, like a saute. And while it's sauteing, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some, a little bit of onion powder in there. You know, just, just for, just for extra, just for being, just for some extra, y'all. Okay. And I am looking for my complete seasoning. Let's see if I can find some complete seasoning. There it is. Just let that blend and cook in there. A couple of teaspoons full. One teaspoon of black pepper right now, and I'll put more later. Okay. There is something about that garum uh, marsala seasoning. I just love the way it smells. Don't not. I know it has cumin in it, so don't overdo it, folks. That gravy will taste better than anything you ever taste if you get the right amount going in. The right amount of cumin is a little bit. Just like nutmeg. You can't put a lot. If you let it, it will take over. Trust me. But just that little bit right there will make that gravy. Just take it to another, to the next level. And then the last thing I'm going to put in there, I always put either beef or chicken bouillon. I'll put this in last when I get the, when I pour my uh, water in. And this is just about done. And also, I'm going to go ahead and get my rice. I got my rice water. I'm going to be cooking uh, jasmine rice. Y'all know that's my favorite rice. I bought these from Food Line. These were like a dollar a bag. These are one pound bags, of, and it's good. And I bought ten bags. They had a few. Yeah, I'm like this. Sometimes when I go to buy stuff and they have like ten bags, I'm going to get all ten. You know, I, I, I think... Let somebody else have it. If they put two bags, leave a couple of bags for somebody else to try. Okay. Alrighty, so we're just about at the point where I'm going to go ahead and pour in some water. I'm going to start with two cups. And when I get my gravy to the uh, consistency that I want, I'll add more water. Just 
about as dark as I want it. Maybe a little bit darker, and then I'll get everything else going. I'm looking forward to this meal later on. Because I already know it's going to be really, really, really good. Like Kylie can say, she said, ooh, gee, that is really, 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 really. She do about 10 really and then say good. You know, Kylie is my little taste tester. She's my eater. She will taste. And she likes most stuff. But some stuff she just ain't going to do. Okay. Just going to let it brown. Because you know when you pour the water in, of course, it will lighten up a little bit. Get if it's too light, kitchen bouquet, honey. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour my water. This is two cups of water. Be careful when you're doing this. This stuff is hot and it sizzles. Yeah, perfect. That color is just like I want it. A deep brown. It's not a chocolate brown. Okay, y'all, that little cartoon music, I don't know if y'all heard it or not. Not mine, don't claim it. Kylie snuck in a cartoon on me that I didn't know she was doing over there. So, prayerfully, I don't even know how long it was in there. Hopefully, I won't have to edit it out. But if I do, I will. Okay, let's get a little bit more water going in there. I don't want it quite that thick. And I think this is going to be the perfect amount of gravy when I get through um, thinning it out. Perfect amount. Y'all ask me, why am I using a spatula? Because it, it, it allows me to, to do the bottom of the pan just like that because it has that flat edge. It works for me, y'all. Okay. Now is when I need to add in my about a couple of teaspoons, of, tablespoons rather of uh, my veggie seasoning. Oh yeah, I need more water. May even need more. Okay. And all I'm working on right now is getting the gravy to the consistency that I want it because it's whatever, I, wherever I stop at is how it's going to be to go with that rice. Okay. It's getting there. I may have to do one more little bit of water. So while that's cooking, let me just reach over here and get another cup of water. going to take so little time to cook it. I can turn the heat down under the uh, gravy now. It's like I say, what I'm doing right now mainly is getting it to the consistency I want. And I think it's just about there. Okay. And let's get our black pepper in. The rest of the install one more teaspoon of black pepper because you know this kind of gravy you always want a, a good amount of black pepper in it while we're waiting on that to cook i'm just gonna go ahead and this is two pound bag should be enough i don't know who's gonna be coming here to eat a lot of people then maybe not a lot at all i just want to get this meal going because i figured it's a lot left we'll eat it tomorrow and we don't have it eaten all up. You know, I pull stuff back like this. I'll put it back out on you on Sunday and have let the leftovers uh, for Sunday dinner. I doubt that's going to happen, but just in case it does. Okay. Got my jazz and my rice. Bring it to a full bowl. Then I'm going to turn it down. And I will just about be done. Okay, yeah, that gravy is just good enough now, along with those onions, to get it over the... What's the color? 
You you ready for that nap, aren't you? I believe so. Okay, go go back over there. I don't want that. This see it's popping. I don't want it to pop on you. Can you go lay over there in the chair? Okay, lay on the chair. She's ready for a nap. But she got you got up early because she got up and went to school with no read this morning. So she she got. Hmm. See, she about ready for her little nap. I'm not sure what you see, honey. She's there. She's there. She's there. Okay. She is there, honey. Huh? My baby girl is ready to take her a good nap as soon as I get this. By the time we get the food going and everything, it'll be almost time to go pick up Norris again because he gets out at 115. It is 12 something now. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put my, just put those meatballs right on in there and let them simmer into that gravy, cook into that gravy. Finish cooking. Of course, I'm going to put the top on them. Okay. Get them stirred around up in there. But see how simple that is? And you know anything with gravy, if it's a good gravy. This is good gravy. Gravy with uh, anything laying up on it is real good. Biscuits, rice, potatoes, whatever. Cream potatoes, however you want to fix them. So I'm going to put a lid over them. And we're going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. The last thing I'm going to cook here is crispy green beans by Bird's Eye. Something new for me. I've had them in restaurants before. So we're just going to cook them. They look good. You know, they taste good in restaurants. So it's the uh, instructions is just to pour the bag into a pan. Um, 450 degrees. Callie, you didn't turn it down like I asked you back. That, that the one was just a line. I'll be done in a minute. Kyla's ready to be look at her cartoons on interrupted. That's a pretty good uh, size bag. Uh, I think two for six dollars. Uh, 12 ounces. That's, that's quite a few. But anyway, this is what we're going to need. I, I spray, I'm spraying a little cooking oil on mine because I, I don't want mine dry. So, we're going to put these in a 450 degree oven for 10, 12 minutes and they're supposed to be done. And, um, we'll let you know. Okay, y'all. All is well that ends well. Those crispy fried green beans, they photograph just fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and end my video here. We got to go get Nari from school. So there's your jasmine rice. I didn't put any seasoning in it. Just plain white rice. Those crispy fried beans. And also those nice yummy meatballs with onion gravy. And we're getting ready to have a feast over here. So this is a unusual Friday dinner. But this is what I had a kind of a taste for y'all. So we're getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this. Uh, is probably about in the next hour or two. But anywho, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for the love, uh, for your appreciation, for your prayers. Uh, and just remember, y'all, we're still talking about reconciling those differences so that we can have a better life and the ones that are around us can as well. So listen, guys, if you want something nice, uh, nourishing, and kind of fairly quick to cook, just about 30 minutes on those meatballs, Put a 10 on the beans and another 15. So put it all together and everything's cooking at the same time. A good 30, 35 minutes. You can have this one on the table, y'all. So thank y'all again for tuning in. Keep those prayers going up. So the blessings will continue to come down and do something kind. Be safe this uh, holiday weekend for Memorial Day. Cook something good. Go out. Whatever you do, but stay safe. Um, obey the edicts of dealing with COVID. So until I decide to cook again, which will probably be on Memorial Day, love you guys. Toodaloo!